It was the last musical written by Rodgers and Hammerstein, but its movie release in 1965 set the bar for musicals since. In today's weekend showcase, Neil Pursley takes us to Providence Academy as they raise the curtain on this classic musical. We purposely chose Sound of Music for this stage because it's such a well-known show. And so we wanted to make sure that whatever we chose to be our first musical in this new space would bring in not only our school community, but our neighborhood community as well. Providence Academy indeed made an excellent choice in presenting Rodgers and Hammerstein's The Sound of Music as their debut musical in their splendid new 56,000 square foot, 650 seat performing arts theater. It's my first production, so yeah. it's been lovely getting to getting a feel of the place. It's my 19th show here yes. at Providence, so and this is the first time I'm on She's stage. She's a veteran. Yeah, it's my first time on stage, so it's like a really fun experience to see like how the cast like do their do their work. Freshman Marie Leggett admitted to being a little nervous working with her co-star in 16 going on 17, but does a wonderful job as Liesl. It's a fun scene. It's definitely one of my favorite scenes. The dance number is really great. Jacob, who's my co-star who plays Rolf, is really great. It was definitely a little bit awkward at first because I had never met him, but like, it's definitely good now. I have to mention the orchestra because rarely do I find such accomplished musicians at the high school level. Their music is a joy to listen to and adds so much to the show. Overall, I was mightily impressed with every aspect of the experience, from the grandeur of the theater to the dedication and execution of the cast and crew. For Weekend Showcase from Plymouth, Neil Persley, CCX News. Sounds like he liked it. The Sound of Music is only on stage this weekend, though. Showtimes are tonight, that's Friday night, and Saturday at 7 p.m. with a 2 o'clock matinee on Sunday.